In the last video, we looked at the uh, P-channel MOSFET here as a switch, and I turned it around. Otherwise, it's wired as a switch to be turned on. But the main thing is that uh, we have a polarity indicator here. And you'll notice when I put the uh, polarity the correct way, so you can see that gray jumper is going to the negative supply, and I'm going to go to the uh, resistor. I'm bypassing the uh, transistor. You can see the green LED lights up. That lets us know that we have the polarity correct. Now let's put the polarity wrong. Again, we're just going to the LED and the resistor for now. And uh, you'll see that uh, the red LED lights up once I make a good connection. I can come over here too, as long as I connect anywhere along that row right there. So for this uh, video, we wired the uh, P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. It's a BS250 uh, as a diode, uh, an ideal diode. It does not have a forward uh, voltage drop. So to begin with, we are going to uh, wire it the uh, correct way. So I'll pull this down and uh, we will clip the uh, jumper to the uh, positive supply and then the uh, black jumper to the negative supply. Red jumper positive, black negative. That is correct, of course. And there you can see the green LED lights up. As we said before, when a uh, green LED lights up, that means we know things are good. If the red LED lights up, we know that uh, polarity is backwards, but we don't want the red LED to light up. That means we uh, failed in uh, preventing current from going the wrong way in the circuit, hypothetically. Of course, in this circuit, doesn't matter. We're not gonna damage anything. We're just pretending like uh, we're building a circuit that does. So now we have the uh, polarity backwards right there. And you can see the red LED is not lit up because the uh, transistor is not conducting. So now what we're gonna do is uh, measure voltages with the uh, multimeter. I have the power supply set to five volts, as you can see there, and about eight milliamps of current is going through the circuit right now, through the LED, the transistor, and whatnot. Let's zoom back so that uh, we can see the meter uh, pretty well without hopefully going back too far. So we already saw the power supply set to five volts, but by the time we get to this point, we got some connections and stuff, wires along the way, there's uh, some resistance, and there you can see, we lose a little bit of voltage by the time we even get to the circuit there. And uh, then we'll go, uh, let's go to the load next. And so you're gonna see, we don't even have that full supply rail voltage. We lost a little bit more. So we're losing about uh, 0.1 volt uh, total. So not bad, we're getting pretty close to the full supply voltage instead of losing about uh, 0.6 volts across a diode. So here is our diode, a transistor wired as a diode, 0.06 volts. So instead of about 0.6 volts for a silicone diode, 0.06 volts, we're dropping about a tenth of the uh, voltage. That's just due to it having some resistance right there. And uh, so otherwise, the voltage will pass through uh, at some point if you're like charging something raising its voltage it's not going to stay a certain voltage below the supply voltage at some point charging it will get to the full voltage because it's resistance that we're dealing with and then again as I said before it should have somewhere around 2 volts approximately across the current setting resistor that's pretty close now let's get them backwards uh, really quick and uh, you can see that uh, the red LED does not light up we already demonstrated that though so we're not going to Go over that too much there you can see the voltage is reversed on the uh, power supply and I can uh, get the uh, probes in the, the right way now due to the polarity of the power supply you can see we got the 5 volts there and uh, none of it is making it across the load we do got a little uh, voltage showing up on there for uh, one reason or another maybe it's leakage current or something maybe it's not perfectly off and uh, maybe it's capacitive effect of the board but uh, anyways Red LED is off, that's the main thing, it's well below its forward voltage, and uh, so we don't really have to worry about damaging current at the moment. So now we come to the diagram, and here is the uh, one where the uh, MOSFET is off, and this is basically a normally off uh, MOSFET. Usually the drain is more negative, and the source more positive, and then when the gate is positive, the uh, P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET, such as the BS251, is off. We're using the one in the uh, E-line package right there. There's the pin layout, uh, drain, gate, source. And uh, so this is actually a normally off uh, position. So neither one of these LEDs are going to light up. And if one were to light up, it would be the red one. But we don't want it to. 
and uh, so that would let us know we did something wrong. The red one did light up the way that we wired this. Now over here we switched the polarity. So of course the drain and the source we don't rotate the uh, transistor because uh, it's not uh, meant to be that way. It just reacts to whatever polarity we put. Now the drain is more positive. The source is more negative. Uh, backwards from what it normally does but it uh, doesn't seem to uh, really matter in uh, this circuit too much that uh, they're backwards. The uh, gate though is to the negative supply since it's a p-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. That makes the uh, gate more negative and the channel more positive. P-type enhancement more positive. It conducts. And uh, so that's why we had current going through the green LED right there. And I wrote the name of the pins. I haven't been doing that lately. Drain gate source. Uh, drain gate source right there. And uh, again, as a reminder, when it comes to uh, field effect transistor FETs, JFETs, or MOSFETs, the uh, schematic symbols are not universal. Different people use uh, different uh, schematic symbols. This is the one I like. Just be aware of that. Hopefully there's a part number there so you can Google it and uh, you can see what it is if the schematic is uh, confusing. But uh, in any case, uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I post on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.